Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel D Creations Resources. We are looking at different multiple choice questions from physics and maths, especially from the topic nuclear physics. We've been talking about radioactivity in previous few episodes and have been discussing some questions from that. And today we are going to discuss a question which has also appeared in the NEET exam. So the question is the nucleus cadmium 11548 after two successive emissions of beta minus particles will give and there are four options A is tin 114 SN 49 B is again tin 113 SN 50 C is protactinium 115 PA 46 and option D is tin 115 SN 50 so we have done a similar question about alpha decay now this is about beta decay and you know that in beta decay there is beta plus as well as beta minus decay and all of us are aware that these numbers like for example like 115 here uh, represents the mass number while this number here 48 represents the atomic number and we know that mass number is total number of protons and neutrons while atomic number is number of protons or number of electrons so what happens when a beta particle decays so if you know the answer you can pause the video mark it and check the answer if you don't know the answer you can just continue so what happens when beta minus particles decay so basically a neutron is going to decay into a proton and hence the atomic number is going to increase by one because now there's an additional proton and there is going to be emission of electron and electron antineutrino. Now when you say this you have to be very careful in the sense that usually when we talk about electrons they are outside the nucleus. So if someone asks you what is the difference between an electron and a beta minus particle the answer is this is coming from within the nucleus beta minus while electrons are always outside the nucleus. Although they are similar in terms of charge and mass etc. Now since this happens there is not going to be any change in the mass number because both neutron and proton anyways contribute to mass number. So even if a neutron becomes a proton the mass number will not change but atomic number involves the number of protons so here atomic number will increase by 1 and neutron anyways makes uh, no difference to atomic number. So the result is going to be no change in the mass number and the atomic number is going to increase by one. So now if you look at it, now note here that it's not just one emission, there are two successive emissions. So the atomic number will be increasing by two and there is going to be no change in the mass number. So in which option do you see that? You can see that in option number D. That is tin 115 SN 50. So the answer is option D. Thank you.